Living our life on a boat means living a life that is ever changing. Latitudes, weather conditions, different languages, different friend groups, food groups, different sleep schedules and different landscapes. But amongst all of these differences, one thing stays consistent, and that is our proximity to and our relationship with water. Water cradles our boat. Sometimes gently, sometimes with a little woo pizzazz. Water holds adventure and food. Pretty good work. It's all around us all day, every day. Our life here on a boat generally revolves around its moods and its whims. And as it turns out, so does our life inside the boat. Despite being in what I would define as a hyper healthy era of our lives, <laughs> Good job. we've started feeling a bit off. Congestion, poor sleep, headaches, puffy eyes. At first we thought seasonal allergies from a new place. Then we thought maybe we need to bathe our dogs more frequently. But when we started noticing drastic improvement every time we got off of the boat, we went on the hunt and finally found the actual culprit, mold. Water, with its moisture and humidity, had turned against us. It found the darkest, most hidden places and built an army of mold. And action must be taken. I am going to be beginning this process of demolding the boat in our bedroom in the forward cabin because this is where we are spending the most amount of our time every night while we're sleeping for you know like 13 hours or whatever no i'm just kidding during that time that we're up here <sighs> trying to rest up and get more energy we're breathing in mold and that doesn't seem ideal now the problem is if you look around there's not any mold because the mold is all where we can't see it and potentially can't access it. So my first mission here is to figure out if I can get to the mold that is behind these cabinets. Now the cabinets have space behind them between the wood and the fiberglass hole. And that's where a lot of the mold is, but it's not really easy to get there without uninstalling the cabinets. I've got these off and as soon as I got them off, guess what we found? Mold, oh my gosh. So much mold. Lots of it. It's like a furry blanket of mold. So I haven't figured out how to get behind the cabinets yet, but that's all mold on the wires. Yeah, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'll figure out how to get behind the cabinets as I go, but for starters, I might as well just start somewhere. Yeah. To be honest, I'm kind of just afraid of what we're gonna find here. We knew we had some mold. And I knew that it wasn't good. I didn't realize it was this bad. What happened is our boat got really condensated. I don't think that's the right word. Got a lot of condensation in it when we first came here and it started getting cold. Uh, we just didn't really know how to handle the cold very well. We would have water, I guess sweat, I don't know what, just condensation dripping from the ceiling for the first little while. And we, we ended up reaching out to Sailing Uma because we're like, hey, they've been in the cold. They know how to do this. And they give us some big tips. The main one being leaving a hatch just cracked open just a tiny bit. And we got a dehumidifier and that combined like stopped that immediately. Um, we didn't have any more you know, wet walls and wet ceilings anymore. But I think the damage has been done just from the, you know, the first, it's probably a week or two of waking up in the morning and the boat just dripping. The walls would be dripping, the hatches would be dripping, and it was just so wet everywhere. And so now we are paying the price for that. AG1 is the sponsor of this week's video, so thank you AG1. And AG1 is encouraging everybody to take ownership of their health, which fits since that's really what we're doing today. Jade has been drinking AG1 for a long time, and I haven't really ever felt the need because I'm generally just really healthy, but She's been kind of sneaking it in and now I'm a believer, I'm in. Because it supports our immune health, but also our physical and our mental health and we feel, I feel fantastic. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of our daily habit. Eight ounces of water, one scoop of AG1, but we double it because Jade and I both drink it. AG1 is a foundational nutrition drink with things like vitamins and probiotics from whole food sourced ingredients, with the whole idea being to support whole body health and actually raise baseline health. And for me, it tastes a lot like pears and kind of what fresh cut grass smells like. It is crazy windy outside. But guys, real talk, I know that you've seen us talking about AG1 before. 
I really encourage you to try it. I'm, I'm a strong believer now. I'm in, I drink it every day because this stuff is amazing. And if you use the link in the description, it will support you, your health, but it also supports us. Drinkag1.com slash Expedition Evans, and they are going to give you guys a free welcome kit, which comes with the canister, shaker bottle, a year supply of immune supporting D3 plus K2, and five extra travel packs. Thank you guys for supporting our channel. Thank you, AG1, for supporting our bodies and our channel. And let's go tackle some mold. Having grown up in the desert, it's fair to say that the entire realm of mold management is something we did not come pre-programmed with. And it fits nicely in the filing cabinet labeled things one must learn while sailing that has absolutely nothing to do with sailing. There is a lot of black mold. Oh, well, I don't know if it's black mold, but it's black colored mold. There's yeah. Mm. Is all black mold black mold? I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of it behind these cabinets, but we are definitely not going to be able to get to it because the gap is only like that big. No hand will fit through. To not even Jade's. Not even mine. And there's like a hump here, so you can't even like... There's just no doing it. The only way we're going to be able to clean that is to stick a hose behind it and spray all the woodwork down. Not a good option. Or take the cabinet tree apart and take it down and like basically disassemble the boat, clean the mold, and then reassemble the boat. That's where we're at. So that's what we're gonna have to do. But we can't do that right now. <laughs> we can't do that right now because our tools are at the shop. Other than our Leatherman. That could probably do it. So you wiped up, I wasn't, I wasn't here, I was I, working I on the computer. I wiped that had grown on the wires. Okay, so you wiped down kind of everything you could reach. Yeah, and then the fiberglass hole. Okay. But... So you probably got like 20% of it. Yeah, probably. Okay, I have a one last ditch effort idea. I am going to try to feed this up underneath the cabinetry to see if I can get behind the cabinets without taking the cabinets down. Okay, this is too thick, but maybe I could find, maybe I could use like a thinner cloth. Let's go grab one. Let's try this. It's a paper towel. Okay, well I got up there a little bit and you can see. That is what we're trying to take care of. That was just from one tiny little section. Abort mission. It's not gonna work. It won't get in. It really is too tight for any cleaning device to get in there, but it's not too tight for mold. So we will have to uninstall the furniture <laughs> to clean it. That's fine. It's fine. Let's go for it. Drill. Uh, wrong door. <sighs> Drill attachments. Bits. I was just, it just sounded like. <laughs> it's like a KitchenAid attachment. Yeah. <laughs> this one we makes it. accessorize our drill? This one screws screws. <laughs> Alright. Let's take these cabinets down. We're just gonna go for it before we think twice. Okay, we should probably remove everything out of the cabinets. Hi. Wait. W E I G H T. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. I E? Yeah, what am I yeah. Waiting? What yeah. Am I waiting for? <laughs> Wait a second. You're seeing if that's holding up. <laughs> Machine. The washing machine? Is it? No, the washing machine is screwed in from this way. <laughs> That's great. We're starting with the Phillips head. Are they not all Phillips heads? 
and the rest will be a, an Allen head. I have Phillips over here. What's an Allen? Yeah, but these ones are Allens. Hex. Oh, so we'll need the extension for these hex head, Allen head, hexagonals. Here you go. Thanks. Can I have your attention? Yes. Thank you. This might not work. You need an extension for your extension? Yeah, we're gonna have to use wrenches. What kind of wrench would we use, Brett? A hex wrench. <laughs> Here, try this. Extend my extend. Yeah. All right, I'll go grab those hex wrenches. hard but working smart is sometimes the better option yeah. only occasionally I'm gonna try and adapt the adapter got the mini ratchet let's try this oh. every time we I see this wood I think maybe it's just a personal preference and I might be alone, but I much prefer that natural grain right here to this kind of, I think this is called a quarter cut? Is that what this is called? The veneer? Yeah, but the way they cut the wood oh, it, it, it is with the lines. Wow, you should breathe. Red. No, no, it's just the... No, you're bright red, like a tomato. <laughs> it's just the coloring on the camera. Okay. You gotta change the white balance. Right, okay, I'm on that. Right, that was looking. Truly giving you a run for your money there, huh? Yeah, it is. We're gonna see if we can get all of these screws out. And then after that, super easy task, the cabinets will just pop right off. <laughs> also super easily. No problem. Okay, so I'm thinking we come and we set it on the bed, basically right where you are. Great. Like this, coming so, off the bed towards me. Okay. Yep. And yeah, just past this stuff. Okay. It's gonna be pretty heavy. Well, we took the clothes out. That'll help. <laughs> Everything helps. I was just checking to make sure I wasn't drilling into the hole of the boat, but now I put the Dremel there as a spacer, just to make sure. I don't actually think the drill bit could make it, but you know, I don't want to find out. I don't want to find line. out the hard way. supposed to happen. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Maybe let's give our drill a break. Oh man. <laughs> Here I am thinking it was the wood smoking. Ta-da. I thought you were gonna blow it like a... <laughs> That's your blow. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to show that stinking screw in there? Here you go. Yeah, um, doesn't need to be there, but now we need to try and get rid of it. Okay. But I drilled this hole so that it still has a mounting screw here and the Velcro. 
So this shouldn't, there's already a big hole here and here. So like, it's not like I'm making anything weaker. Yeah, this isn't structural. It's not structural at all. It's just. Slightly structural. I mean, every, everything's tree. slightly structural in our boat, I think. <laughs> I ended up using a sawzall through my hole there. Got the wood just a tiny bit, but got that screw. And now I'm waiting on Jake because this thing wants to come down now, but she can't hear me because we both have headphones in. been feeling it babe yeah really oh oh and the fact that we had to go through all of that to be able to even get into this area uh-huh like oh man think of all the boats out there that are just like this probably most of them are. oh yeah imagine a boat from like the 70s 80s yeah 90s Ugh. let's talk about mold Let's talk about mold, baby. Maybe we should all have a spring cleaning sailor edition yeah. amongst this community, because this is nasty. Yeah, we can't be the only ones. I really hope we're not the only ones. I feel like such, I feel disgusted. You can see where I've been able to clean. Yeah. <laughs> I've cleaned. <laughs> it's not like we haven't been cleaning. If I'm being, oh my goodness, my hair does not go with the gloves. Now that I'm over the emotional turmoil of this disgusting mold being hidden in the boat, I'm actually kind of excited to clean it up. I feel like this is gonna be really fun. I'm about to go all in. I love me some tedious tasks like this, like this like satisfying get in on it tasks and that's exactly what this is. So yeah, now that I'm over the shock, I'm ready to let this be fun. Yeah, it's coming off very easy. Because it's smooth. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Good. All done. Just need to disconnect these wires, then we can pull it. So far, so good with my wood cleaning efforts. Have a look. Looking more like wood. That was the objective. And so I wiped all the mold off and then I went back through with just a vinegar water mixture and mostly vinegar and wiped it all down with that. We have some mold spray, but it says specifically not to use it on wood. So vinegar, and then I can use the mold spray maybe on the fiberglass and the vinyl. Of course, a little more porous. Yeah. Smart. It says, it, it says don't use on wood unless you're planning to refinish it. Mm. And I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay, is this one ready? I think so. Let's do it. Yeah, this one's, I mean, it's still got stuff but nothing like and it's like half what yeah. the other side was and then this is this wall is about the same actually maybe the wall actually might be worse and this hose I think this hose goes to the fresh water wash down but you know that's probably not ideal just you know having a hose just you know randomly just hanging unsupported 
So we'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a day for improvements. And it feels just... big in here. Should we just leave those down? It feels so open. It does feel kind of nice. It's actually really nice. It's not like we use those cabinets. Literally every article of clothing I own goes in those two. Um, I mean, we could definitely like make them narrower. Raph could make them narrower. Raph. I don't know if we could make them narrower. <laughs> let's not, let's not get into carpentry right now. That's a skill that would take a little while for us to learn, I think. Should we carbon fire them? Sure. We can just make some carbon fiber shelves real quick. Yeah. Some foam and carbon. Good to check these bulkheads. It's hard to see this actual seam. So nice to find out that this forward bulkhead is still nice and pretty. Bulkheads are fairly important. Bulkheads are good. Despite all the mold, we decided that this is our bed. We sleep up here. The back bedroom, we could have slept back there, but this one already had sheets and blankets and everything. So we slept up here. Despite the mold, the you know, I was gonna say, that's a good point. There was less <laughs> mold up here than last night or the night before, so it's better. But did you, sleep? did you sleep well? I think I slept well. I feel like I slept well. Did you sleep well? I slept well. Okay. We woke up a little earlier because we didn't have any curtains on yeah. the window. Yeah, there's no way to close these curtains, which we have neighbors. But yeah, the game plan now is that I'm going to make the bed, take some of the tools out of here because we have an ozone machine. I bought the ozone machine when I found out that we had mold in some of these places. I didn't know about behind the cabinets, but I'd seen some in kind of some cracks and crevices and I thought, okay, maybe let's try an ozone machine. And that... So for the benefit of everybody who's like me, will you explain what an ozone machine is? Because this is brand new information for me. Ozone is basically like when there's lightning strikes and you smell that like super fresh air that is ozone. When talking about the oxygen that we breathe, we are talking about O2, two oxygen atoms bonded together. Certain things, such as lightning, can break these O2 molecules apart, leaving solo oxygen to latch on to nearby O2 molecules, giving us ozone. Ozone is an unstable molecule and will release one of its oxygen atoms to bond with other receptive molecules, such as organic compounds, odors, and mold, in a process called oxidation. Basically, nothing can live in ozone. Bacterias and molds and everything, it just, it cannot survive. And so the idea is you set off an ozone machine and it puts essentially deadly air out into the space and kills mold spores, bugs, and whatever else. Kind of like doing like a, a chlorine bomb or like a bug bomb, but less toxic because it dissipates really quickly and can't go very far. By closing off this door, we really should be safe everywhere else in the boat because it can't really travel through walls. It can't creep through things very well, but it also is pretty corrosive. And so uh, I'll take these tools and things out of here and then I'm gonna leave the mattress on because I don't want it to get to the water maker. Put here on our kitchen table. Just in time for breakfast. Perfect. There's not tools on the Evans' table. You know something's wrong. <laughs> Or does that mean nothing's wrong? That's the question. That is the question. Little ozone machine. Do not enter. Purification complete. No humans, no horses. <laughs> so it is. No, I think it's a dog. <laughs> ozone air purifier. Use in unoccupied space only. I do, it freaks me out for some reason. So I'm going to stay far away. This runs on 220 because we're in <laughs> Europe and you can't really buy anything 110. So you have to use the little power adapter that we actually got this because our washing machine is 220. So we got this. So it changes from 110 to 220. But then this also runs on two, 220 to 240. So you may have noticed this in the background. This is just a small little dehumidifier. 
You probably, I don't know if you could hear that it's right in front of it. it has a fan going. Uh, this is just a little dehumidifier that we've, we have running 24 seven and we have since we got here basically. And it does a really good job actually. It does a really good job pulling water out and I have to empty that little bucket every other day or so, maybe every three days. Um, but yeah, it, that, so it's definitely as dry as it can be from like a dehumidifier. Maybe if we had a bigger one, maybe it could do better, but it's, I mean, that's pulling quite a bit of air, water out of the air. One of the other main things, this is the tip we got from Uma, was to leave a hatch just a tiny bit open. So we actually opened these, these have like a little half step. So there's just like a, maybe a half inch gap, but for the ozone, we're all the way closed. So now that's closed, closed. So now when I close this door, this room will be sealed off. Jade, do you need anything out of here before we- Just my toothbrush. Toothbrush. Well, we can come in here later. Have you not brushed your teeth today? Well, I think I'm gonna want to after breakfast. Ah, okay. I just meant like change of clothes or anything like that. Oh, all of my clothes are out here. Oh, how convenient. My nice storage locker right now. Right. We could put it back in their cabinets. I suppose so. <laughs> Jade was on this side last night and this little trim piece fell down on top of her face last night, apparently just like flopped down. This is just like a, a aesthetic piece, cosmetic that just sits up there. But this foam is just kind of deteriorating over time and the glue on it is falling. Changed my shirt, put on a clean shirt for the day. And I think we're ready to set this thing off. I'm only gonna do, I think, I don't know, I don't know. I've read a lot of different things. So do it for 30 minutes, do it for two hours. Um, maybe I'll just set for an hour now set for an hour and then we'll let it sit for a couple hours to let it dissipate and just turn back into normal air. <sighs> okay, I'll tell my breath. And I'll turn the AC off. The AC's off, so now there isn't just fresh air being pumped into there, so now it's just the ozone air. What happened, Jade? Well, I was about to go in to get something out of the room, but fortunately, there was a sign that I remembered, but I almost died. That was, was about, really that close. Was about to the end of Jade. That was really close. <laughs> Jade's making us breakfast. The house, it is such a mess in here. It's so hard to just, the, yeah, the dogs are outside because it's just kind of chaos. That's what happens. Like the house was perfectly clean last night. Perfectly clean. And then we started this and then it just- Very quickly devolves. It's such a small space. It does not take very long or very much to feel absolutely chaotic. Yeah, especially when you take one of your installed furnitures and put it in the middle of your only walkway. That doesn't help. <laughs> Open up these just to make sure that we are getting fresh air. Oh, I can. That's just a precaution, just to make sure we're getting fresh air, not ozone. I don't think we are, but safe and sorry. Did you make us Master Chef? I made poached eggs with sweet potatoes, fried sweet potatoes, and then I'm gonna put some chives and some that's Crema interesting. Fresca? Fried sweet potatoes. Like, no, Jade, they're sweet potato fries. <laughs> <laughs> Semantics. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm gonna put some chives on it and some cream on it and a little bit of sauce that I'll make, and it's gonna be splendid. Sounds amazing. Everything we read said that if you shut off the room and the ozone is in a room and you're not in the same room as it, that it's fine. However, both of us are feeling a little lightheaded out here. So Brett is taping up the door and we've opened up more of the windows. Because we want to make sure we're getting enough oxygen and not slowly starving slowly our brains. Dying or... <laughs> slowly starving our brains of oxygen. It's also, we've got like some rollingness coming through. So it's possible our lightheadedness is just like mild, mild seasickness. Cause we have a slight swell hitting the side of our boat right now. Or we're dying. So those are, those that's, are the options. Those are the, those options. Are the only two options. Only two. Okay, sealed. Good. And we've kicked the dogs outside. Dingo just came back in, but I think I'm gonna kick him out again. Kick. Did you shut the window? Yeah. Good. In the bathroom too? Yeah. Hi. How do you feel, Dingo? Do you need more oxygen? Do you wanna go outside? 
Dingo's opinion is that the contract workers working on the boat next to us are bad dudes. Whether or not that's true, probably. Probably. He's a good judge of character. He doesn't like them. He's been barking at them all day. Here we are. Two hours later. It has now been two hours, which means. <laughs> are you gonna change the sign? Purification complete. That's Not great. sponsored. I realize their logo's like huge right there. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, I did a good job with the face. <laughs> you did, I can't. It's hermetically sealed. <laughs> I think that's a word I don't know. Hermetically? I usually have the bigger vocabulary. What does that mean? You just use the bigger, bigger vocabulary. I actually have a greater grasp of syntax, but you know. Okay, let's try that. Oof. Oh, it's like, it's foggy. Is it supposed to be foggy? Maybe don't breathe that. Okay, right is. Well, it definitely worked. <laughs> Did something. Yeah, you can smell it out here even. Okay, so that's all airing out now. Okay. <laughs> I almost died again because I couldn't find the hairspray bottle that we used to prop up because that hatch is broken so it doesn't hold itself up like all our other ones. We are de... Uh, contaminated, I suppose would be the right term. Now that the ozone has gone through, basically that's gonna kill any living organism in this space. So all of the mold spores that are in the fiberglass, theoretically, will no longer be reproducing violently and causing more mold. That is good. So now we wipe down any more of the residue one last time and then we can reinstall our cabinetry and have our room back with a little less mold. And I have a feeling this might just be the first movement in a whole symphony of demolding, but at least we've begun. That first note has been hit. <laughs> it's a little out of tune though. How far can we go with this metaphor? Sounds good to me. <laughs> that was subtle. Thanks. I, like <laughs> I am totally ready. We're gonna reinstall these cabinets. So I wanna give you guys an update. We did the ozone. Well, first we uninstalled the cabinets. We demolded behind the cabinets. We- Using? Using vinegar and water and elbow grease and then we brought the ozone machine in left it in for the allotted amount of time which was like an hour or two i don't remember then we let it all air out so that we wouldn't die and then we were able to sleep in here and after one night of sleeping in here i woke up and i was like it's fresh it almost felt like waking up in the woods like yeah it doesn't smell like ozone it just smells fresh. clean could have just been the vinegar you know but it's, I think it's a combination, definitely. We had to get the bulk of it off and right. clean. and I mean, we had to put in the work. We couldn't have just done the ozone. Right. So now that we've done that, we're going to put our cabinets back up. Because That'll be nice. <laughs> we Right now, we, we have a single file walkway. So if one of us wants to walk by like, and the dog's there, they have to back up. Yeah, they can't turn around. <laughs> yeah, that is one dog wide. <laughs> we've been tripping over each other all day. Yep. Now... <laughs> Now we're gonna reinstall the cabinets. Uh, let's start with the little one, yeah? Yeah. Do I have a headache or was that really loud? Penny, back up. 100% loud. Back up, more. Penny, back up. Oh, hey, let's see if we can unscrew that screw. I it's countersunk. Oh, your muscles are so big, you barely fit through the doorway. Mm -hmm. I did have to suck it in a little bit. Your muscles shrink. Actually, it was really easy.
put in the frame. AG1 is made up of 75 whole food. AG1 is made up of 75 high quality, it's made up of 75 whole food sourced. AG1 is made up of 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients.